My dad always told me this story. I'm not sure if I believe him, but he said when I was a really tiny baby, I, uh, I hummed the Teletubbies theme song to get him to turn it on. Yeah, I guess you could say music's always been a part of the way that I think and communicate. Uh, I started playing it officially when I was in fifth grade, though. Originally, I wanted to play the bassoon, but because of its difficulty, they didn't let the fifth graders play the bassoon. Uh, so because of that, I chose the next most distinct and rebellious instrument. So I chose the bass, and the rest is history. I started playing music when I was 12, and then I got my hands on a saxophone, and then continued to play, and my introduction to jazz happened when I was around the age of 14, and I, ever since then I've been playing. I started playing music in fifth grade. I definitely didn't enjoy it at first. It was definitely a requirement. I knew I didn't want to play tuba, I knew I didn't want to do bass, really wanted to play drums, but we had the audition. So I told my mom to get me a sax or a trumpet, and she bought me a trumpet. My dad forced me to play a piano, give me the option to either play piano or lay bricks. I always chose to practice, and my dad would take me to see live jazz every Sunday, as well as covering classical lessons and blues and later on jazz. So I actually grew up in a musical family. Uh, my dad was actually a classical cellist, and so I've been listening to and playing music for an extremely long time. Uh, so I started piano when I was seven, but while my twin brother would take his turn taking the piano lessons, I kind of just gravitated towards the drum set. Um, and just ever since then, it's just been all about the drums. Senior year, I auditioned at 11 schools throughout the country. I got into every school except the one that I really wanted to go to, so I really had no idea what to do. One day I was drinking boba with my best friend, and I received a call from Patrick Langham. He offered to fly me out to audition, so I took it, and now I'm here. I was actually approached by a former fellow of the Institute. Um, we went to the same high school together, Joel Ross, and I remember this guy messaging me on Facebook. He's like, hey man, uh, you thought about doing Brubeck? I was like, eh. And then as the rest of the year continued, I would always get a message. It wouldn't even be, how's my day going? He's like, hey, did you do Brubeck? And so I finally applied and I um, got my audition. They called me and they let me know I got in. And then, yeah, I've been here for two years now. I found out about the Brubeck Institute my freshman year of high school because uh, I was playing at the Jazz Education Network Festival and uh, the old institute was there and I grabbed some lunch with them so they told me kind of what the institute was all about. Um, I actually didn't end up auditioning for it but one day I was just driving to school and uh, there was a police officer next to me but I still answered the phone. I uh, took a risk and it was Patrick and he told me to be part of the program and I agreed so now I'm here. Before the Brubeck Institute, I was studying at the Oberlin Conservatory, and about six weeks ago, I got a phone call from uh, Patrick, he's the director of the Brubeck Institute, and he asked me to submit an audition video. The guitarist of the program that was here last semester left the program, and they contacted me. Uh, my audition was accepted, and I got into the program. So I actually heard about the Brubeck Institute uh, when a representative came to this program that I was doing called Grammy Camp Jazz Session. Uh, during this college day, um, this representative came down and I thought it was a really cool program so I just sent in my audition tape and um, I was fortunate to get finalist and they flew me down and I uh, did the audition and I got the spot. The Brubeck Institute is a really special place. It's rare to be playing with the same five people for a year, so what we can develop over time really is crazy. Also, all the time to shed has really been great. I love it here. The Institute is such a cool program because um, it's a semi-professional program, which really helps with um, us as students striving for independence and being able to get our own stuff done, but also putting ourselves in positions to establish our careers and to propel ourselves uh, forward. The best part about the Institute is, besides it being completely free, is uh, just the opportunities they give us to work with all the great artists that they bring in. If you really put in a good impression, you could uh, end up graduating and going on the road with one of them. Uh, me and Isaiah, both being from Chicago, we've been friends and played lots of music together in, in the past five years. He recommended me to the program. I think this group is really special because everybody brings in something unique and special to the band chemistry. Playing with all these musicians, I really feel like I've grown both musically but also as a person. Um, so yeah, it's just been great and getting to just grow and um, be part of this little family has been pretty cool. <laughs>